Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Kyle and this is my wife Crystal. Hey guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to our little mini update video. We're very excited to bring you this new project we've been working on for some time now and to bring you some other updates um, that have been happening with the channel in the meantime. But those of you who know me in person and who follow me across social media know that Stop Kyle 4 has always been a one-man show. I mean, I've never had any like outside help with video production, research, editing, networking, all that kind of stuff. So, especially now that the channel has surpassed 700,000 subscribers, which is just mind blowing, it's crazy. Um, the day to day tasks take a lot longer and they're much more tedious across all social media platforms. And Crystal's been so helpful in stepping in to help answer um, a lot of your requests, questions, comments, and everything like that. And she's going to talk a little bit more about this project and why we are so excited about it. And just to let you guys know, you know, I do my best, Kyle does his best to respond to everyone's questions and comments um, and requests. But even if we don't get to respond, we have seen them. So just know that we've seen it and we take it to heart. Yes, thank you. Um, one thing that I see a lot in the comments is a lot of people ask about the clothes that Kyle wears. Uh, usually when he films, he wears the Sob Kylo 4 t-shirt, um, which we've had on the website, SobKylo4.com, in the shop for a while now, yeah, yeah. Uh, but something we really wanted to do to bring something cool and unique to you guys, um, uh, which now we have been able to with the help of Teespring, uh, we are having a limited edition t-shirt campaign. Um, it starts today, June 1st, and goes through the 14th, so it's only going to be a two-week uh, two week time frame. Um, it has custom artwork by our good friend Chris Tolley, who was with Kyle in last year's Gumball 3000. Very, very talented guy, just super nice person. And Teespring has been very instrumental in helping us kind of bring this idea and the dream to life and stuff. So we're, it's a very, very nice product. We're going to have uh, t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts in two colors. Yeah, they'll be all available in um, black or dark gray. And once you see the design, you'll see kind of why it had to be the darker color because um, it's got a really cool uh, background, um, so that has to have the darker color to show up. Yeah, it shows up. So you'll up be able better. to see it um, in the link in below in the video. Mm -hmm. In addition to that link in the description box below, you can also click the link in the annotation at the bottom of the video player or go to teespring.com slash sopkylo4. You can either do that from your computer, obviously, or they have a really nice um, mobile adapted site, so like your iPhones, Androids, whatever. Um, it's very easy to navigate, check out the different images of the clothing, and um, just do it all from like a one-stop shop type thing, so it's very cool. So like I said, I try to help respond to a lot of things on social media, but for those of you who aren't following Kyle on social media, um, he has a great Instagram, Twitter, uh, obviously Facebook's kind of where we started out, um, as well as Google+. Plus. So, oh, thank you, dear. It's so <laughs> nice. <laughs> so if you aren't following him on Instagram especially, uh, make sure you're checking it out, because a lot of things that he puts on there you know, aren't going to be on YouTube necessarily, so it's sort of an insider. And that's a great way to keep up with um, things that I'm filming, things that are going to come in the future, and with all these press cards that I'm getting right now, I'll post like cool photos and stuff as I film things and experience things, so it's cool. All of the social media platforms are SopKylo4 LLC, so it's very easy to follow. Um, those of you who have followed me on Instagram know that I recently did a, um, a broad filming trip with Shimmy150 a couple months ago where I actually stayed in London for a few days and filmed some incredible content, um, some of which I've uploaded already, like the Morgan 3-wheeler, um, Spiker C8, um, and his uh, McLaren 650S, but there's so many other uh, videos that we still have to put up, just working on collaborating that with Tim, and because um, he's got videos of those cars as well, like of like a different perspective type thing. So we still have the Lamborghini Reventon, um, the Zonda F Club Sport, the Morgan Aero Coupe, and uh, probably some other stuff as well. Um, uh Rolls-Royce. Yeah, the Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead actually filmed in the courtyard of the Rolls-Royce factory at Goodwood, which is crazy. So this is Veyron. He was a year old in March. Uh, many of you have asked on social media about him. He is a Welsh Corgi and loves to play. He is a handful. Yes, he is. <laughs> Oop. And he loves basketballs. He loves to destroy them. And 
that's why we named him after a Bugatti. Because he's fast. <laughs> oh, many of you have already seen my in-depth review that I filmed on Crystal's 2002 Ford Thunderbird a while back, but later this week, and you guys are definitely going to want to keep up with Instagram and other social media platforms to see the updates pertaining to this, but it's actually going to make a guest appearance on another car review channel, one of which I'm very excited to um, get to know in person. They're going to take a stab at reviewing the Thunderbird, and it'll be um, quite interesting to say the least. So I'm going to get it all cleaned up this week and prepped for show. Stay tuned. Which brings me on to another point, something I'm hoping to do more throughout the year, is collaborating with other YouTube channels, like what I've done with Shmi150 and what I'm going to do with this aforementioned channel with the Thunderbird that I'm not going to talk about because I'm going to leave it a surprise because it's going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, hopefully be attending some events, meeting more of you guys, and just creating some more awesome content with others. Which brings me to my final point of discussion, all of the press cars I've been getting lately. Um, what's become a very popular and very common question is, Kyle, do you own this car? <laughs> uh, because a lot of my latest road test reviews, I'm actually putting a um, Sop Kyler 4 vanity plate on the back. I've been actually very, very fortunate enough to partner with the company that um, represents a lot of the fleet management for the manufacturers. So instead of having to hustle around, go to dealerships and sit in a parking lot for three hours and film something, you know, with these in-depth videos, there's only so many times you can walk around and show angles of a car. But with this, I'm getting weekly vehicles sometimes two a week sometimes more but that's very rare but I'm actually being able to get out and experience these cars on the road for really proper road tests and try to just take the content and the videos to the next level in quality and, and bring in that in-depth content to you all so for example like this Ram Pro Master behind me I'll have it till next Thursday or Friday or so and then they'll bring the next one so it's very cool they've been sending a whole lot of variety which is great for the channel and um, yeah so there should be a lot of exciting stuff coming throughout the year thanks again guys for watching your support on our t-shirt campaign all of it really helps out a whole lot especially the out-of-state and future out-of-country trips um, definitely makes the burden a little bit easier to bear so I'm um, very very much appreciated hope you enjoyed the video um, if there's anything I left out any questions you have um, please post them in the comments and we'll be sure to try to keep up and um, <laughs> get them all answered in a timely manner so see you guys on the next one take care thanks guys